Welcome to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Tuesday, the 6th of October. Uh, a little bit of a cautious look to markets um, European session this morning. Nothing too significant in terms of direction anywhere, really, aside from volatility really continues to play out through sterling. You've got the EU-UK trade negotiations ongoing and any news flow surrounding that seems to fly a cable one way or the other at the moment, but uh, it tends to be um, the case at the moment. And um, the uh, Aussie as well. The Aussie finding a bit of um, selling pressure come through in the wake of the RBA meeting. Reserve Bank of Australia didn't move on rates. Um, however, it leaves the door open to further easing measures um, in due course and uh, Aussie reacting negatively to that. Um, aside from that, basically flat across um, the uh, equity markets. S&P 500 was strongly high yesterday, um, and I'll talk about that in my chart of the day in a bit, but futures this morning just tailing off a little bit, but essentially still a bit of a consolidation day across Europe today. Now, US dollar has been under pressure. It stays under pressure a little bit to a certain extent today, but uh, a little shade of intraday rebound, but nothing too significant there um, on the uh, on the uh, US dollar. Now, um, what we have got is um, data points today, a little bit of US data. You've got the trade balance expected to see the uh, deficit widening slightly to minus 66.1 billion and also the jolts jobs um, have mild increase to 6.69. few Fed speakers, um, obviously prominently, the uh, Fed chair Jerome Powell speaking at uh, one, uh, sorry, 340 today. Um, he certainly could have a bit of an impact on markets. He had EC ECB's Lagarde this morning, gave little away um, in her speech on monetary policy and also just talked about um, the shaky nature of the recovery. I think that's fairly standard stuff. Euro didn't really move on that at all. She does speak again tomorrow, though, so watch out for that. But Fed Chair Powell this afternoon is the important one. Now, uh, in terms of my uh, chart of the day, while we sort of looking at the S&P 500 because the, the move higher that we've seen yesterday breaking out above that uh, reaction high from last week, 33.97, uh, closing above that suggests we're on this sort of higher lows and higher highs uh, run now, starting to regain a bit of upside impetus. And look at this, um, using this uh, support of the pivot, 33.30, Support of this pivot um, has become interesting, uh, actually as a pivot in, in the last few weeks, but breaking above that and then holding that using its support of a springboard higher. If it can get above 34.30, 34.29, then you really are sort of starting to think about the all-time highs again, um, 35.88. But obviously what we've seen is futures a little shade lower today. But I think that given the fact that the momentum indicators are starting to build nicely, RSI sort of calling for a breakout, MACD lines as well, ball cross, stochastics positive. I think it sort of points towards, oh, sorry, that should be SPX. I think it points towards further improvement, actually, uh, with these moving averages turning a corner, um, hourly momentum still building nicely. Um, little corrections are a chance to buy, I think, um, for this test of 34.30. And uh, once the market sort of resolves how it deals with that resistance, then I think that they will know a bit more. But um, certainly if it breaks out above 34.30, it's up, up and away towards the all-time highs again. And um, I think that could be seen. If, um, if risk appetite remains positive, then uh, we could see that. Now, obviously, the, um, the US fiscal um, support package is a key variable. Uh, and if um, that is then denied, then I think we could see S&P 500 lower again. However, I think for now, we're still looking on the bull track. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website, sign up for our webinars and click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.